Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass, a channel dedicated to everything to do with architectural glass and sort of spreading the knowledge really. Um, and I'm doing a video today which is one of my favourite types of video to make, which is a kind of through the keyhole into another stained glass artist's studio. And I'm here today with Marilia Carvalho here. And mm -hmm. uh, she practices from just outside of London. Yeah. And she is in this amazing studio stroke workspace, which I'm going to get Frida to just pan around for a moment to give you an overview. So, so you can see all the pretty things, which uh, Marilia will talk us through soon. So, Maria, what would you say is the makes it the main body or part of your work? What type of glass do you do? Um, I think domestic. Domestic's definitely um, most of the work I do. And is it leaded? I, it is leaded. Lead. I'm a leader. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. I mean, I do copper foiling and I do fusing, and most of the fusing is to include in my leaded work. Right. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have had a little nosy round before we started, and there really is some amazing work which I'm <laughs> really looking forward to getting you to explain some of your uh, processes. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So, would you say that your work is contemporary? Um, yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So when people in come a traditional to you, way. yes, because you're mm -hmm. using the traditional technique. Yeah. So when people come to you for a window. They're not coming because they want a reproduction. No. No, they want a, a, a modern, yes. but I'd say very sympathetic piece of glass. Yeah, yeah. and usually, um, well, you know, they have a, a mood board. I get them to do a mood board. Right. And quite often they'll have things that they've collected over the years. You know, even with the children, when the children are little, it might be shells, it might be a stone, it might be a piece of agate, it could be anything. And we try and include that. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. so that makes it, it so personalised. Nice. And it's, you, so you're incorporating sort of found objects that's that's right. yeah. Fantastic. That means something to them. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, and I think that, yeah, I've been yeah. doing that yeah. since I've started. I mean, some people don't want it, which is absolutely fine. Yes. But, um, yeah, yeah nice. that's what I try and do. So let's talk a bit about the space you work in. So I see you have a beautiful big bench here. Proper sturdy. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. No. And you've got some horizontal shelves underneath. I have, which are really not used for what they should be used for. I think, you know, when you lead it and cement it and keep them flat, they should be there. Mm -hmm. But I don't actually. I use them for drawings. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. there's another door in here waiting to be made. So you draw everything by hand? Yes, yes. Oh yes, everything yeah. by hand. Yeah, everything by hand. So there's another um, waiting for final decisions. Right. And this is quite interesting because okay. part of what I was saying to you about, about found pieces is that this um, couple have got four children and five grandchildren. Uh -huh. So the colours of the month that they're born are going to go in there as so that um, they, um, yeah, it, it's all a commemorative yeah, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, that's nice and to children. do that. Yeah, so they'll have different little pieces and this is what has been decided. And do you do just one copy of your design? Yes. And do you yeah. go over this with the two? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that will be in tin. All the drawings are in tin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's always interesting to see the way other people work yeah, yeah, yeah. and also yeah. what they do for storage. Yeah, so a lot of um, anything that's been waiting, you know, that's waiting to be made or any drawings usually go in here. And, and lots of other, you know, yeah. sort of other things that have been made. Yeah. Um, yeah, anti slip, yeah, anti -slip. Um, tissue paper to yeah. kind of wrap things yeah. up if people buy things. So, yeah. yeah. And then on the other side, you'll be able to see those. I tend to keep... Your lead boxes? Yeah, lead boxes. So you work, do you work a lot in five now? Yeah, and four. And four? Yeah, most Oh, respect. <laughs> respect. <laughs> yeah, four. 
four and five are my wow. favourites. They're my bugbear. I used to work with three, but I can't get any more. Three? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I'm always hounding John to see if he can get me. I've run out, I can't get any more. Yeah, and you'll see work made with three. Well, I saw something over here and I thought, gosh, is that lead or copper foil? Because it was so thin. Yeah, no, that, that's sea lead. Yeah, that's very, right. That's um, four mil C. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's my amazing. favourite to use. Yeah. Then one of the shelves, I keep all the, because I do workshops, I keep all the tools. So, um, and those baskets. So yeah. I just divide these into however many yeah. people so that it's easy to. Um, Absolutely. Um, yeah, to find them, regardless of whether they're eleven or yeah. falling with yeah. scissors and stuff. Yeah, so that's quite a, yeah. a good. That's a good way to do and it. And pegs, take it. Use pegs. Too. What do you use pegs for? Copper foil. I don't copper foil. Oh, you're not at all. Not at all. I um, I am lead through and through. You don't do any other things. <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, but yeah, but not no. And no. You a lot of painting as well. Painting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. No problem. Yeah, no foiling, mm -hmm. no foiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, um, and then this one just has lots of other things. Usually lots of ribbons to go on some of the small decorations right. that I do. Yes. Or we'll just wrap it up, you know, when people buy things. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. So an array of things. And this is, this is where you work? Yeah, yeah, this is where I work. If something's taken a little bit longer, which this one's been here waiting for decision making, um, and then I put it at the end of the bench so that all that side is free. Whereas if I'm doing something that I might finish a day or two and then I'll use that one because I think it's better lighter than that. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas this one I need the lights on on this side. Right. So, and you're using y -led. Yes, because this is going to be double glazed. Right. Mm -hmm. So you put a spacer here? Yeah, a spacer goes in yeah. there. And then the gunky stuff. You need 12 mil. Um, and it's six here and then six on the other side. So the wood will be on there. So you've still got the six on the other side. Yeah. Um, and this is all the fuse. This is all your yeah. pretty yeah. All the powdery. Yeah. Fritz. Don't you're, you're really use any powders. I don't, oh, do you not? No, I don't really like them very much. So I just yeah. stick to the things I like, really. Well, it's what, um, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, everything's got a different kind of purpose, yes. hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I use powders when I want to produce my own coloured glass. Yeah. And I want it just to fuse yeah. in. Yeah. Um, and not have any texture, mm -hmm. just the colour. Yeah. yeah. But you do a lot of painting, so that's really helpful yeah, to do that, it is. isn't it? It's yeah. really helpful, actually. Yeah. Um, no, and, and those are quite good for... Um, the beads. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I use a lot of those so as well. So what size lead do you use around a bead? Um, for five, maybe, but usually for... Oh, you can get it in quite... Yeah, yeah, for... And also, I use some porcelain and um, pieces that I get someone to make for me. Um, and you'll see some of them. Oh, really lovely. So she makes those. Um, and these are really nice. Do you ever put these in windows or are they only for decorative? Um, I put them in decorative or something that's going to be um, double glazed. Okay. Yeah. So you don't worry about it blocking the light? No, because quite a lot of my work Sort of things block the lights, whether it's ammonites or right. agates, right. so that blocks the light yes. anyway. But um, but these are quite nice, they and she makes lovely. those. Um, yeah, so they're quite. And these are the sort of things that I mean when I'm making a contemporary panel for customers. You yeah. know, they might have things that they want yeah. in the past, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which will be quite nice. But yeah. And you use um, sort of semi-precious stuff, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, lots of agates. Mm. Yeah, lots of agates. You having some people coming for a, for a course tomorrow? Yes, yeah, workshop. Um, I'd love to just uh, show the viewers at home what they the, can make. Yeah, because I thought they were really yeah. nice little uh, projects. Yeah, they're, they're nice because they're leaded. I mean, this is the leaded project, uh, a one-day workshop. So you can make those. Um, obviously in any colours that they 
you know, yeah, decide. So they select from your glass lens. Yeah, they select anything they want. Yeah. Right. So they make those. I know someone wants to make one of these. Um, and there's different shapes, but they just, they hang nicely. And I think they're yeah. quite nice for the yeah, garden. Yeah, and they're a good, they're a good size. Yeah. And like you were saying earlier, it doesn't matter if they grow or shrink. No, that's right. And also, because there's only a few pieces, you know, four, five pieces at the most, um, there is enough time to make something yeah. substantial in a day. Yeah. You know, whereas if you make it too difficult, um, people get stressed because yeah. they've not done it before. Yeah. Um, and it kind of ruins their some it, their day can be ruined because yeah. they get stressed and then they can't see the wood yes. for the trees. Yes. Um, so yeah, because people can be too ambitious. Yeah, can't they? they can. Well, we also I do cruises as well. Oh, <gasps> do you? I do copper foiling on cruises. That's very cool. <laughs> So did you get a free cruise? Mm. Yeah. I'm so jealous. <laughs> it's, it's great. They yeah. love it. Yeah. Definitely. And actually, it's quite relaxing. It's, there's a lot of prepping for that. Though. Is there? Yeah. Because <laughs> if you forget anything... Oh, yes. You're out at sea, aren't you? So you have to bring all the glass and hope yeah, you've covered so it Yeah, so I template it. So I have a little bag that I template everything. So if I'm making an angel... I'll template the wings, I'll template the body, I'll put a halo and a head and a ribbon all in the bag, and then um, they can cut. But everything's in there. Fantastic. And if you forget anything. That's brilliant. You're really wow. So yeah, impressed. Yeah, but that, um, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. yeah. So let's have a little look at some of the things that are displayed around this beautiful studio. Um, this one is lovely, and you've got, it's very, um, fused, oh right, yeah, that's a, a fused, um, panel with some sand in it. Yes, a lot of your designs are this sort of circular, yeah. concentric, mm. and it, 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 it works beautifully, mm. actually. And so you've, you've sort of done a little bubble fuse. Yeah, the there's there. sand in there. Yeah. There's sand in it? Yeah, there's sand, there's sand in it. I'll That's show too you clever. Ones. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's sand in there. And if you, it moves around oh, the bubbles. So if you turn so the pan cool. the other way, it's a bit like an egg timer kind of thing. Wow. Yes. Very impressed at that. Didn't expect that. So, um, and we've had a little look at your ornaments here. Um, maybe we'll go through to your gallery.